Welcome to the ITU studio here at GSR 23, the global symposium for regulators being held in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio this morning by Dr. Cosmas Lakisan Zavazava, who is the director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau for ITU. Dr. Zavazava, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Now, we have a record number of participants here at GSR this year. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, what is unique about this particular edition of GSR? Well, it is quite unique because, uh, you know, we are coming out of COVID. The pandemic wreaked havoc across the world. People couldn't travel, they couldn't meet, they couldn't debate physically. And it all makes a difference. And uh, in the interim, technology was galloping and uh, needed people to sit down and discuss burning issues. So we are excited uh, about the presence of so many. It's a record-breaking GSR. And in terms of the outcomes of GSR, uh, the, the principal outcome is uh, the new set of best practice guidelines. Why are they important? When you drive, you need a GPS to know where you are going. The regulators need reference materials. And this is uh, a result of wide consultation to make sure that there is harmonization, there is a shared vision going ahead. So it is quite critical and uh, it is important for the regulators. Now, at this GSR, you launched the Digital Regulation Network Initiative. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. Uh, you can't work in a silo. Uh, the digital world is an open world and uh, it's important for people to be sharing good practices and the best practices and uh, across regions across the globe and it's important for people to be learning from each other and uh, this will include also twinning for capacity building and helping each other you can't do it alone in this world particularly in the digital world you need uh, to to be cooperating, collaborating, that's why we are talking about collaborative uh, regulation. So it's quite important and regulators take them quite seriously. Now what has impressed you most about this year's GSR? This year's uh, GSR has been very innovative. There are a number of new features. We have managed to put a human face to regulation. Uh, first of all, we we have included new topics such as saving lives, emergency telecommunications, the, the role of technology, the role of technology also in creating a green digital is quite important. We are discussing the issues of spectrum and the issues of metaverse and many other such topics which are very important for, for, for the world. But most importantly, I think, we have emphasized the need to include regulators from other sectors because if we say at the center of everything that we do, there is digital. We need a conversation with the other sectors. So multidisciplinary, multi-sectoral, multi-players, we need to have a conversation. And we are very happy because uh, we also created uh, a new segment which includes ministers. And I call it a triple play, uh, the conversation between policymakers, regulators, and the industry. We should not forget our private sector and industry because they are the ones who invest and connect the world uh, and bridge the many devices that we have, urban, semi-urban, peri-urban, remote areas, etc. Finally, you're no stranger to the telecommunication development landscape. You've been with the Telecommunication Development Bureau for many years, but this year you're Telecommunications uh, Development Bureau Director. And I just really wanted to ask you how, well, first of all, congratulations once more, uh, but how has how your how's your time been so far? Excellent. It couldn't be better. I think uh, we are trying to innovate as much as we can. Uh, we are getting great response from the membership because we are member-driven. Industry is embracing us. We are forging many partnerships and we are implementing many projects that are impactful on the ground. So I'm excited. I have a burning desire to impact the world and to touch people's lives, and I think we are doing exactly that. I'm sure you are. Well, thank you very much indeed for being within the studio, Dr. Zavazava, and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon indeed. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much as well for being with us. Remember that we've got plenty of uh, more interviews on the ITU YouTube channel as well as podcasts on our podcast channels too. And for further information, visit www.itu.int. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>